Hello everybody, this is me, Las Vegas Teddy here, and welcome back to my last play of Mario Party Island Tour. So last time I've been in second place in um, Bonsai Bill's Map Mountain, but again, it's um, Bonsai Bill's is probably one of the hardest boards to ever win as well, because um, because of the Bonsai Bill dice blocks or such, but um, yeah. So today we're going to be heading off to the third board, which is um, Star Cross Skyway. So, if you're ever familiar with this board, although the objective is kind of the same thing as previous boards, but except the whole gimmick on the concept this time around is that you, um, if you remember from uh, Mario Party 9, um, you have to collect those, on um, these mini stars right here. Yes, mini stars do make a return, and then just like before, um, it adds up to your, uh, mini stars value. But, um, eventually you come across into mini Z stars, which just like in Mario Party 9, you take away some of your mini stars, so you better have to be cautious about that, so, yeah. So, um, for this particular board, um, it's a bit more bigger, and, um, as I said in um, the last episode, is that, um, for the status for this board, is that, um, it involves, um, some bit of, um, a whole lot of, a whole about, um, skilled. And, um, sometimes, um, some of them are pretty luck, and, um, you do play some mini-games, particularly, in order to play the mini-games in this board, is that you have to actually land it on these, um, these versus spaces, where it's just like the ones in, um, Perilous Palace Path. And, uh, whenever, when you're trying to play the mini-game, uh, you're actually gonna have to choose the mini-game, rather than just, like, it do, like, a mini-game spin. Which is kind of a cool thing in my eyes, just because, well, the mini games are, the, for the most part, the enjoyable part about this game, particularly every single Mario Party is out there, so, yeah. So, right off the bat, in the, um, right off the bat, in the, this, um, the stage design is that you actually come across into star stages, like, uh, for example, in Bowser Jr., if you ever made it to that, that um, star stage, uh, basically, he'll get some mini stars right there, but, there's another way you can collect these mini stars is by, you know, playing some mini games, just like the ones in Mario Party 9. And um the value on that, however, is that it feels it quite more differently because I'm um, usually um um however if Daisy lands on it, um if you're in first place you get three mini stars and um second will give you two and um third can give you one, but if you're in fourth, you won't be getting any of them, so yeah, that'd be too bad for you if you're in fourth place no matter what. But anyways. Alright, so new minigame, Hide and Scratch, aka what's that minigame called again? Oh, it's Matchmaker in a USA translation. Draw sketches to remind you where the, each creature is, then try to point them out. So you basically you use the stylus and both um D-pad and A button. But the reason why you have to use in the stylus 4 is because, well, these enemies you're gonna have to um, write out. So, I don't know if some of these Mario enemies, particularly um, Bullet Bill and um, Flomp, and um, um, I'm guessing Fuzzy is on here. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, it's right onto that thing here. Usually, um, sometimes I'm not very good at this minigame because I usually kept on confusing, like, um... Oh, Spike, um... Thing is, he's down there, isn't it? Ah, we didn't get any. Alrighty, so we only got one point each, and, um, sadly though, I didn't want on that minigame, but, uh, that's because... I'm not very good at the, um, the memorization of, um, whenever when I finish sketch, and luckily though for me, I'm actually in first, so I can get three star and three mini stars. So technically I won that mini game because of that tiebreaker here, so, yeah. So, how's the board is going for this, um, the sports mechanics? Um, I actually kind of like that for the most part, although... The only thing I don't like about this board is that sometimes I usually get some really pretty bad rolls, and um, most of the time it still feels a pain. Like you see right here, I've only got two, so unfortunately I don't able to make this in time. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. So yeah. So it's Mario's turn now. So what number is he going to get? I think he's going to get a one, is he? 
or five maybe. So if he gets a five, so he can make it to the star stage. But um, although the goal is practically the same as the previous boards, but the ultimate goal here in this board's mechanics is that um, you actually have to have most of these mini stars, whoever who gets the win. You know, just like in Mario Party 9, it's basically the similar similarity here. So this is how the second star stage of was. Uh, you better have to avoid these skeleton ones because I'm um, skeleton enemies. Because if you ever get caught on those, you will take away some of your mini stars. So that could be a really bad thing for you. Just like the ones in um, you know, you number those in Mario Party 9, do you? I'm pretty sure you guys do. But yeah. Just wanted to figure that guys that out. Unfortunately though, I gonna have to get like two mini stars, which is not it's not much. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I suppose Daisy can have another one then. <laughs> Alrighty then. So in this case I might as well get ourselves a higher rolls and such, which so so to speak, I'll take a three. So I'm fine with that. I'm practically fine with that. So for this particular ball, sometimes you might see a lot of those mini games because I'm usually in um, Perilous Palace Path. You do see quite a few mini games, particularly those turn-based uh, mini games, as far as I'm concerned. But um, yeah. But however, if someone else got the mini stars, whatever when um they got about three Mario creatures, they actually hold up to that mini stars account. Um, the other player or the last player, I should say. Uh, might um, give a lift for um, from Lakitu, and uh, what happened is that um, yeah, it just takes you there automatically. But um, yeah, that's how it usually is. So much like the ones in Palace Palace Path, you still have the move spaces, which is just like ever, and. Um, also, for another thing about this board is that sometimes in these specific areas, you actually have to take in these other routes, like all different routes. Like um, for ba um, for Bowser Jr. Oh, he's going for a mini game. Okay, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And uh, whatever when he, whenever when someone gets over there or there rather, and. Um, Ah, oh, crap, no, not spin the bubble again. I think we did play this before, so... Unfortunately, let's do that again. So... Oh, great, this is a missed opportunity here, folks. Because, well... Oh, Jesus, this is gonna be really annoying, isn't it? Let's just do this anyway. I just got that focus right there, because I'm usually I'm trying to get this thing positioned really, really well. But, um... The thing right there, like it never um, get the focus out of me. So yeah. So spin the bubble. We've played this one before, ever since Palace Palace Path. So um, nothing to worry about this right here. So. Oh, I got that once. So yeah, I have to concentrate from that here. So yeah. And the last one we have is Bowser right there, so hopefully I can do my best right here, which in fact, I do. Alright, so that is spin the, spin the bubble, I'm hoping if um, any people, or any of components, even though when I'm covering the Bowser's tower in this entire Let's Play, is that I'm probably not going to be covering the, um, the spin the bubble, because um, that's the minigame I've re we recently already been playing. So, yeah, that's, that's a huge challenge for me. So back onto the um the recording original recording setup. And back to the um the original recording section and um yeah, I can have um three mini stars, so yeah. Oh yeah, I did not mention in the um the tiebreaker dice block game is that um much like the ones in We Party, especially We Party You, um you actually um do a counter with the other opponents for a tiebreaker game with um you actually have to play a quick dice block minigame on the results screen in some 4 3 for all minigames or some um, minigames and such. Um, basically, um, if you ever win from someone else, um, you do actually have to take a win for either first place or second or third. And uh, I just might go for that minigame right there. Um, which minigame I have not played yet? Let's go for Hot Scotch. I actually quite like this minigame. 
quickly press the buttons displayed on the rocks to jump towards the goal. So press the four face buttons right here, not include the L and R, just the four face buttons. So yeah, it basically reaches you to the hole right there. Ready? So ready, go! go. It kind of feels like the same way as um, the Monkey Ball series, particularly um, Super Monkey Ball 3D and uh, stuff like that. I kind of just wish if um, the next Monkey Ball game will just announce in uh, the next couple of um, months or so, or even uh, this year or something like that. But um, even though recently they did release um, a new Monkey Ball game, which is actually, you know, Monkey Splats for their PlayStation Vita. But uh, we never get a chance to get a, see a new Monkey Ball game on the Wii U, but we might as well have to find out in some time. But if not, then um, I'm just pretty disappointed. <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, even though I didn't beat my record on that box guard because I was about 10 milli, um, 10 milliseconds off, because um, usually milliseconds wise is about um, 8? So maybe, um, 10. 10 seconds, yeah. And another mini game. okay. This is getting cool. This is getting quite cool, as far as... Alright, so, what should we go for? Seaside Snapshot, a new mini game, And also, I believe, Gyroscope Controls mini game. So, once again, you move the system to search, and press the A button to take picture. Find the selected creatures, be the f and be the first to take their photos. But if your um, calibration didn't work that very well, you can actually push your D-pad until when you recalibrate itself until when it focuses back straight. So yeah, it's a really handy handy button, especially if you're tr having trouble with um, trying to get that thing working again. Oh, those binoculars thing kind of reminds me like Super Mario 3D Land. If you guys know already that, let's play if you want to guys want to check that out. Okay, back into the, um, the gyroscope controls recording, and, um, this kind of reminds me of, like, um, Sonic Lost World's, um, special stages all over again. But, um, yeah. Ha, gotcha. So, uh, basically all you have to do for this minigame is that you actually have to find these many of these, uh, Mario enemies right there, and then if you do find the most pictures, uh, without it, well then you simply win. So, yeah, that's pretty... Simplistic and so much more generic. Okay, for some reason I have no idea where Cooper Trooper is. I think he's up there somewhere. Ah, I didn't get my calibration very well. Ah, great. Um, I'm guessing someone's gonna get it like Mario, which I don't mind. Alrighty then. Um, Shy Guy and Lakitu. Um, ah, Bowser Jr. got that one. Ah, uh, why does my calibration never work on me? Come on. In fact, no matter, um, to make matters worse, um, can be disorienting. I think Belgian Jr. has got the same points as I do. Oh man, I don't want to let him win though. Yeah, sorry for apologizing about the recording setup for this minigame because, um, this is kind of like the special stages on Sonic Lost World all over again, but um, I forgot. Um, it's it's pretty damn tricky to in order to do it with both hands because I didn't have myself a tripod or something like that. But uh, that digress. Back into the um, the recording, uh, the original recording setup for this um, this board right there, as much as it used to be. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Alrighty then, back here again, and um, yeah, back into the original recording setup right here. So hopefully, um, or less um, unlikely, Bowser Jr. gets it, like, gets a 10. Oh, man. Well, at least I did win this board from before when I used to play this for the first time. Although, yeah. Now, there's a huge award in uh, when as soon as this board is almost over, like, there was a, like, you can actually get your mini stars double amount or something like that, but, um, yeah. And these are the new two new spaces for the, um, pink arrow shuffle-like spaces or something. Ah, oh, crap. Why one? 
I won. I need more movements because uh, if I ever get more movements, then I'll just simply get those mini stars. And Mario also gets a one right there. Oh jeez, what a disappointment for him and me. And here's the third um, star stage, where basically it's a dangerous area because I'm usually like the ones in the um, other um, stuff, but then you basically not able to get, you probably not not gonna get those because um, if you ever do, you screwed. So yeah, it's kind of like Mario 49 all over again, but just on the 3DS system. It's so hard to guess, he's going for a minigame. <laughs> That's what I said! Another minigame right here! Because usually every time, whenever when, um, some computers have um, specific dice roll, um, usually I have to, um, they actually go for the minigame spaces only, so, yeah. So, um, Beach Ball um, Bedlin, or called it known in the USA translation, I think it's, I don't know what this one is actually called in the USA version, I have to research it on that um, computer of some sort. Oh yeah, I did not mention the, uh, the USA translation version of um, Seaside um, Snapshot. Um, also known as um, Point and Shoot in the USA translation on that minigame that we recently played previously. So the basic premise for this minigame is that you actually have to use the stylus and then when you are rolling out in the bar, it kind of reminds me like a whenever when you first time um, notice the, um, the DS title and um, familiar launch title on the, or some um, Super Monkey Ball touch and roll, it's kind of like that and uh, what's the other minigame? Oh yeah, um, roller, um, um, yeah, it's a um, roller coaster from Mario Party DS. Whenever in Mario Party DS and that minigame, you essentially flick the stylus until when you actually roll a ball. And yeah, I do like that minigame. It's very similar here, but um, yeah, I think it's really ironic. So, yeah, that was before Bedlam or Bendlin, I should Bedlam, I should say. Oh, fuck it. Sorry, I'm just getting confused right there. <laughs> okay, anyway, so. Hopefully though, as soon as Daisy had her turn, then I won't be able to get ourselves a lower number or something like that. Here we go. Basically, um, as I mentioned in the on the on these new spaces um, where I just managed to cover it in this board, um, those um both um green and um, blue type of spaces when it has a pop, um pink arrows onto them. Those are basically, uh, it's kind of like shuffle spaces from Mario 49, but a different fashion way. Oh, okay. Ready, aim, fuzzy. I actually quite like this one. At least it's some um, better motion controlled ones that are the ones in the um, other ones, to be honest with you. So once again, much like um, some Seaside Snapshot, you can actually move the system in order to control your aiming. And pull, and pull back with the circle pad and release as it let go until it fires. Aim to hit as many fuzzies as you can with a single arrow. So yeah, if you're ever familiar with um, Mario and Sonic at the Art London 2012 Olympic Games Archery events, you know about this minigame right here. Basically, um, unlike that, um, you don't have four goes, instead you've only have three goes. And funnily enough, I'm actually going on here this time. So... Yeah, I'm actually have to do it without um, the um, the recording setup right there because I found this one to be a lot easier to um, do the recording setup right here because as you can see right here, um, if my calibration does that weirdly enough, um, uh, I'm perfectly fine with um, this one. I bet this might actually be the better of the, um, the mo uh, motion control setup thingy right here, which actually I have to be perfectly honest with you. But um, usually if my um, thingy messed up, I can push, simply push the D-pad down and then it, it just backs on this straight position. Which actually comes in handy for me. Anyway, so we have one more go left and fire! And I'll go at 10. Perfect 10, I should say. And there we go, that's my recording setup for this mini game. I actually found this to be a lot easier to... Um, recalibrated itself, even though, again, uh, for the um, seaside snapshot, which I previously played, um, it's kind of hard to control at times, because, you know, if you remember from Sonic Lost World Special Stages, then, yeah, it's disorienting at times.
But I, I love that um, Ready and Aim Fuzzy minigame. It's actually quite a lot of fun to me. Because um, usually it's kind of like the Arch Read game of some sort. But um, yeah. Alright, so I need to get. Uh, let's say about four. I need to get four so I can get ourselves more mini stars. Ah, crap. Oh well. But at least I can show you those anyway. So. For those spaces, um, the green one will actually let the front line back in line, and um, I believe the blue one is that it can actually do a scramble space. But um, whenever when you um, approach those, then um, basically the premise of this is that um, uh, Mario gets a three. So ah, he almost um, gets to that thing there. Okay, anyway. Yeah, that scramble space right there, you can actually decide whatever when um, the mini starts placement you ever want to decide to choose. And uh, it's kind of a cool thing, but um, simply, I have to be perfectly honest with you, most of the time, it just simply screw me up sometimes, because, well, basically, whenever I'm trying to get some more mini stars, it count, but um, usually I mess it up with that um, for this board. Oh, actually, yeah. Luckily though, um, what it says for me, Bowser Jr. lost them um, 7 mini stars, and me and Bowser Jr. are in the same mini stars account. But um, since we, um, since Bowser Jr. escaped for that area, whoa, three of us never get to that section right there. Um, three of us are the only one made it to that, to that still um, stay on, on that same point. Which, actually, funny enough, is kind of weird. Unfortunately though, since um, the bony beetle was actually in front, I will I will able to um, take away some of the mini that a uh, mini star, so that could be a really bad thing. Let's see if I can get a one. Ah, uh, no. Nope. Oh damn you, Daisy! Damn you! Oh, that was stupid. Stupid Daisy. Although I won't complain her because um, um, usually she's a cool princess because I'm um, usually Luigi always fall in love with um, Daisy so much. Actually, to be fair, let's um let um who's in front of line? Um, let's let Daisy to have um. Oh, okay, Mario just gets a second mini stars. Okay, so me and Mario are in second place right now. So the only thing I'm worried about is Bowser Jr. is going to be in first place in line. Whenever, whenever, when he made his stuff to the final star space. And um, Daisy's got picked up by Lakitu yet again because um, simply because she ever get picked up by Lakitu like twice. And um, I believe it's her go next, or maybe um, maybe it's Bowser Jr.'s next. So I was about two mini stars off, so I won't manage to let um, Bowser Jr. win this though. And that's how the final um, star stage actually was. So once again, he has ten mini stars right there. 7 and 5 and only 1 dry burns, uh, which is um, the 7 minus 1s. Yeah, as soon as this gets like almost there or something, um, we actually um, to let it totally explain to the others the meaning that we'll have to actually have uh, more mini stars to conquer with, such as like uh, some extra twice value of the mini stars, so um, yeah.